Goal programming is a branch of multi-objective optimization, which in turn is a branch of multi-criteria decision analysis. This is an optimization program. It can be thought of as an extension or generalization of linear programming to handle multiple, normally conflicting objective measures. Each of these measures is given a goal or target value to be achieved. Unwanted deviations from this set of target values are then minimized in an achievement function. This can be a vector or a weighted sum dependent on the goal programming variant used. As satisfaction of the target is deemed to satisfy the decision maker, an underlying satisficing philosophy is assumed. Goal programming is used to perform three types of analysis. Determine the required resources to achieve a desired set of objectives. Determine the degree of attainment of the goals with the available resources. Providing the best satisfying solution under a varying amount of resources and priorities of the goals. History Goal programming was first used by Chance, Cooper and Ferguson in 1955, although the actual name first appear in a 1961 text by Chance and Cooper. Seminal works by Lee, Ignizio, Ignizio and Cavalier, and Romero followed. Schneider Jans gives in a bibliography of a large number of pre-1995 articles relating to goal programming, and Jones and Tammies give an annotated bibliography of the period 1990 to 2000. A recent textbook by Jones and Tammies gives a comprehensive overview of the state of the art in goal programming. The first engineering application of goal programming, due to Ignizio in 1962, was the design and placement of the antennas employed on the second stage of the Saturn V. This was used to launch the Apollo space capsule that landed the first men on the moon. Variants the initial goal programming formulations ordered the unwanted deviations into a number of priority levels with the minimization of a deviation in a higher priority level being infinitely more important than any deviations in lower priority levels. This is known as lexicographic or preemptive goal programming. Ignizio gives an algorithm showing how a lexicographic goal program can be solved as a series of linear programs. Lexicographic goal programming should be used when there exists a clear priority ordering amongst the goals to be achieved. If the decision-maker is more interested in direct comparisons of the objectives than weighted or non-preemptive goal programming should be used. In this case all the unwanted deviations are multiplied by weights, reflecting their relative importance, and added together as a single sum to form the achievement function. It is important to recognize that deviations measured in different units cannot be summed directly due to the phenomenon of incommensurability. Hence each unwanted deviation is multiplied by a normalization constant to allow direct comparison. Popular choices for normalization constants are the goal target value of the corresponding objective or the range of the corresponding objective. For decision makers more interested in obtaining a balance between the competing objectives, Chebyshev goal programming should be used. Introduced by Flavel in 1976, this variant seeks to minimize the maximum unwanted deviation, rather than the sum of deviations. This utilizes the Chebyshev distance metric, which emphasizes justice and balance rather than ruthless optimization. Strengths and Weaknesses A major strength of goal programming is its simplicity and ease of use. This accounts for the large number of goal programming applications in many and diverse fields. Linear goal programs can be solved using linear programming software as either a single linear program, or in the case of the lexicographic variant, a series of connected linear programs. Goal programming can hence handle relatively large numbers of variables, constraints and objectives. A debated weakness is the ability of goal programming to produce solutions that are not Pareto efficient. This violates a fundamental concept of decision theory. That is no rational decision maker will knowingly choose a solution that is not Pareto efficient. 
However, techniques are available to detect when this occurs and project the solution onto the Pareto efficient solution in an appropriate manner. The setting of appropriate weights in the goal programming model is another area that has caused debate, with some authors suggesting the use of the analytic hierarchy process or interactive methods for this purpose.